Hello again. I am going to do a quick eye look and highlight some of our um, eyeliner since we were talking about that today. So I have a few tr tricks for you. Do not think I'm crazy. Well, I hope you don't think I'm crazy. But one thing to hide dark circles, which are really hard to tell on me right now because not that I don't have dark circles, but I um, did that contour stick earlier. You can put red liner. This is um, popular, but you can use the primal as well under your eyes. You're going to think I'm crazy, but this actually really works. So you put it under your eyes. I'm going to kind of smudge it before it dries. And it just kind of blurs. Um, I'm going to put our concealer on. Again, I use um, I use two shades lighter than um, my I use two shades lighter than my foundation. So foundation, I go taffeta, even chiffon in the summer, and I am using organza. Look how that just like blurs your dark circles though, seriously. It's amazing stuff. And this, putting this on your eyelids, your concealer works as a primer as well. Although you all know how obsessed I am with our primer, I'm so obsessed. So, look how that just seriously blurs. And I'm using my fingertips, you can use your eyes or excuse me, your blending bed. Sorry, we had some sick kids in the house today and I wasn't feeling very good myself. There's that stomach bug going around and it totally kind of hit us. So um, I think I'm just tired and not with it. So there you go. Look how cool that is. How that just like kind of brightens everything up. So now I'm gonna take um, our setting powder and just kind of set it a little bit. This is called baking. It just holds your concealer in place. Oh my gosh. It's crazy how that red um, eyeliner makes such a difference like that. So now I'm going to use our Unapologetic Splurge Cream, which comes in our kit this month. And those of you who have snagged our kit are gonna be so excited because this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. And I usually would put eye primer on, which actually I might put eye primer on yet, but I don't really need it because I put my concealer over my eyes as well, but let's put some. So the eye primer just kind of makes everything stick and last all day. I even put it on my eyebrows for when I do my eyebrows. I put it on my lips. Um, I just, I love it. Which actually I'm going to put some sugar, some of that lip exfoliator on my lips because, man, that's a dry air hit. And my lips are screaming at me. So, on Apologetic, I have a splurge cream brush that I recommend to get with our splurge creams. And I'm going to just do on Apologetic and um, one other color, actually. Sorry, I got a mirror over here that I'm looking into. This is like a burnt orange color. Lady, sorry, of course my dog wants out when I'm trying to do a video. So unapologetic, and I'm just gonna use a couple eyeshadows with this. And again, I have that hooded eye, so I go above a little bit, that crease. And I'm gonna go all over the lid, I think. This is such a fun fall color. I love it and I'm so excited that it comes in the kit with palette two, which I don't even have palette two. I wish I could um, buy the kit every month because they always have great products in there. So unapologetic, I'll make it look better, trust me. It's all about blending, blending, blending. So now I'm gonna use my favorite highlighting, which is um, Optimistic. In our pressed shadows, let me just find a brush. So let's put a little optimistic. 
in the corner there and up top and I will blend this out so it looks a lot better. Lady, I'm coming, hold on. I was looking for my blending brush, but I'll use this brush to blend. You guys, a blending brush is a must and I don't have the unique one, which I'm sure is 10 times better than the one I have, but um, a blending brush is a must to blend your shadows. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Just so pretty. So that's just optimistic and um, unapologetic. And if I wanted to put a little bit, it's just so creamy. It goes on so creamy. I might just do a little bit more. It goes on super creamy. Um, it's easily blendable. They are crease free. 16 hour wear, just a great, great um, eyeshadows. And you can get, um, you can bundle them and get like three as a set to save money. And if you need recommendations on colors, you just hit me up. Of course, I'm gonna tell you unapologetic, but then if you're spending $26 on unapologetic, you might as well then you need a mascara and an eyeliner. Well, shoot, you might as well buy the kit because <laughs> that adds up super fast. So I'm gonna use our um, Perfect Eyeliner to do a line on top. These are smooth. They have um, wax and Jehovah oil in them, so they glide on super, super smooth. I love them. Oops, I kind of messed that one up. But I love them. I think they're fun. Um, kind of messed that up in my... It is really hard to do makeup it on the phone. Okay, I'm going to come down more, I think. All right, so that is perfect eyeliner. And also, why don't we and take a little more of that optimistic. I always like to get the corners of my eyes really good to pop it. To pop them. And then I'm going to show you that trick with our white eyeliner, which is pristine. And you're going to go under your waterline or on your waterline, excuse me. I put way too much concealer on. Okay, look at that difference. Why do we always make funny faces when we do this? You can kind of smudge it in the corners of your eyes as well. Okay. I mean, I could put more on, I guess, if I wanted. Okay, so that's to make your eyes look bigger and brighter. As you can see, I have no Epic on. My eyes are super, my eyelashes are super, super blonde. People don't believe me, but I do. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first, and I usually use our brow palette or a pencil, but I'm gonna show you again with an eyeliner how you can use that. So this is um, Prim, and you can use this. I'm gonna use my mirror to do your eyelashes as well. And these are smudge proof, waterproof, so these puppies are gonna stay all day. And it's amazing how doing your eyebrows and eyelashes makes such a difference.
That works really well. I don't usually do this. Okay, I just want to show you what a difference this makes, so, sorry. We got the one eyelash done. And I'm using Prim in our eyeliner. So I've used the black eyeliner, the white eyeliner, and now Prim. And now I'm going to use our Epic Mascara. And this is in brown, so it won't be as dramatic as an effect. I just want to show you what a difference it makes. So the Epic Mascara is a one-step mascara. You, it literally lengthens, curls, and volumes, volumizes in one step. Um, let me bring this down again. Again, this is brown, so it's not going to be as dramatic as the black, but it's a nice, subtle effect. So when you're putting your mascara on, it's good to go on the top of your lashes, get right down to the root and go all the way up. And we can touch up our eyeshadow if it gets up there. Then do the bottom. And in between coats, you want to let it dry a little bit so you don't get clumps. But as you can see, you can just touch up, just take your brush or Q-tip and touch up where you got on there. But like, look at the, I wish I had something to show you. Look at the difference. Such a difference. Like just to do a little brow and a little bit of mascara. Like I said, this is a brown mascara. So if you don't like that super dramatic look with the black, which is usually what I prefer because I don't think there's anything as too much eyelash. You can go with this brown for a more subtle look. Love, love, love. What a difference, guys. And I just need to clean up a little bit up there. I have that hooded eye thing going on in between liquid eyeliner and mascara. I really have a problem. I need to be more careful, so like letting it dry better before I move my eye up. Get it from my mother. Okay, so we use the red. I'm just gonna stop there. We can always add more coats later. We used the red eyeliner and proper, or you can use primal to cover up those dark circles. We used prim to do my eyebrows. You can also use prim. I'm gonna do this now. I need to get this to outline your lips. This is super popular, especially like if you're using stellar in the splash. Outline your lips. And it's always good before you do liner to have clean exfoliated lips. So I just kind of did the outsides of my lips, and now I'm going to grab my Stellar, which is my favorite nude lip. Yeah. Smudge it out a little bit, because I don't want that harsh line. Use that tip to go around. And 
And remember, with these, less is more. So as you can see, I wiped <laughs> quite a bit of product off before I even used it. This will last you forever. Again, remember these are on special this month and are kudos, so you should snag one of those up. So there you have it. We used, um, oh, and then we used the perfect eyeliner on top of my eyes, the Epic Brown Mascara, the Prim for my eyebrows, the um, Pristine White for underneath my eyes, and then you can also use the Prim as a uh, lip liner, as I did. Um, it works perfect with um, Stellar or some of the more, um, or like I have this Lucky Lip Gloss. This is one of my favorites. It would work really good with that. And even with the Stellar, um, let me grab, I usually like to, sorry, I like to blot it just because I feel like it lasts longer when you blot it and there's not so much product. Because like I'm saying, it's so concentrated, so pigmented that you, it just, it's a lot of product. And you can even add a little bit of a lip gloss on top. So this is Lucky. I can add that on top. These are fun. Got that cool mirror for application. So seriously, look at the difference. Let me grab. Oh no. I accidentally messed up one of my eyeshadows. Look at the difference. I mean, it's huge, right? Now I just need some Botox in my forehead. Oh my gosh, 35 is hitting me hard, guys. So I hope those tips helped you. I hope that helps you. Like we have that deal where you can get three eyeliners for $40. Um, those are some good choices or you can contact me if you have um, some other questions about what kind of eyeliners to get. I did have a lip liner here. As you can see, I use our lip liners a lot on their own with um, a gloss or something on top. Like the hottie is perfect. This one is plush. That's like the perfect nude lip liner. So... I'm going to finish up my other eye, but I won't bore you with that. But I just wanted to um, give you some tips and tricks on our liners. So I will see you guys later and hope you have a great day. Bye.